Okay, we're getting our final grade and uh, getting ready to pour some concrete around the hatch and try to disguise some things and make it look good around here. And Elijah hasn't been to the site, so I'm going to show him the the cool factor now. All right, go on the other side and pull that bolt out for me. See that bolt? Pull it out. Right here. Voila. <laughs> We're going in. So this is a first time experience for Elijah. We are in the Atlas Shelter. Are you reclining? Hey, I'm reclining. Look at the TV goes there. Receptacles. My next part of this project is is power. Uh, we are 25 feet underground, kid. I'm just chilling. Just chilling. Yeah. Okay, so let's give you a little tour of this Atlas shelter we're working on. Again, there's a lot of room under the floor. I'm gonna be putting a water heater in there. I still gotta hook up the air vent. There's the escape hatch that we welded on. We had to rotate it. It was and uh, so see in there, Eli, you get a ladder. There's a little bit of water that got in there. We'll have to shop back that out. And uh, definitely need to put some boards down or something, make it easier, kill her on the knees. So that goes to the surface. We've got a nice queen size bed in here. Power distribution box is under me. Anyway, we're, uh, this is an Atlas shelter, full kitchen, cabinetry, bunk beds, um, had a little issue shipping. I guess they didn't bolt the toilet down. Oh, I hate when that happens. So I got to fix that toilet. You can never tighten the wing nuts. This is the blast valve. Air being blown in. That's the escape. And then the air goes from there. I'll show you where I'm going to be living for a while. Awesome doors. So in here is my power room. Power pod, the gen pod. This was a task, and I wish I could have video videoed it, um, but it was setting this generator up on that stand. We used some binders and chains and came down through the exhaust holes and inlet holes and got her up there. It took a while. Fuel tank, wish it fit better. It's okay. And then I got a lithium ion fortress battery. We're going to mount the solar converter on here. And, uh, and then we'll go out of, so we're gonna have a wiring party down here soon. But I get some airflow, and I'm gonna probably, yeah, I need to get some airflow. Air comes in that hole and goes back out that hole. Exhaust is under there to that hole I gotta weld on. So I gotta do a bunch of welding in here, so I gotta get some good airflow. Love these doors. Atlas shelter doors are impressive, aren't they, kid? Yeah. So what do you think? Really Didn't think you were going to get to see this, huh? I welded this in yesterday. Got the ladder, stairs, and hatch ready. Got to concrete that top in. So we're in pretty good shape. All right. What do you think, folks? Um, I'm going to do um, this. This is going to, this has, we put the septic system in yesterday. It's got a grinder pump, vented. So we have, this is like building a house underground. We Obviously, we have everything that one would need um, in here. We'll have hot showers, septic, sanitation, power. Um, I'm doing solar that will be charging its battery. And we'll have the ability to charge the battery also on the Gen Jenny. I'm gonna do some good exhaust work on this so there's no carbon monoxide poisoning going on. And we're learning a lot, but we're looking forward to fully outfitting this with power. All right. Engineer 775, showing little Engineer 775. Yes. Oh. It's uh, very dusty down here. It so is. Because of the stairs. It's a mess. we got a lot of cleanup to do. All right, kid. 